Hello, my name's RJ Bailey, writer and voice artist for Popcorn Horror, and welcome to this first video for Popcorn Horror's Disability in Horror Month. James Whale's 1935 science fiction horror film Bride of Frankenstein isn't a subtle one. It's also, in my opinion, a bit overrated, but that's a story for another time. Crucially for this video, however, it does include a memorable part for a disabled person. No, I'm not referring to Karloff's monster, although being assembled from corpse parts is probably the biggest disability it's possible to have. It's actually the hermit I'm referring to, simply credited as that, played by O.P. Heggie. The hermit himself is not O.P. Little bit of a gaming joke there for you, for he is in fact blind. What I found really refreshing about this film is that here we have a disability portrayed as a source of virtue. One of the ironies of the original Universal Monsters cinematic universe is that Frankenstein's monster isn't much of a monster at all. He's just treated as such because of his limited intellect and the way he looks. It's precisely because of the fact that he can't see how the monster looks that the hermit comes across as the most humane character. He's willing to take the monster in and shows, when given the chance, the monster can be pretty civilized, able to sit down for a meal, drink some wine and even enjoy a cigar. It's not unreasonable to suppose that given the mentality of the time, the hermit, had he been able to see, would have taken one look at the creature and dobbed him in. Hey, many people would do that with the mentality of today. It's specifically because of his disability that the hermit has this virtuous side. Horror isn't particularly known for its positive representations of disability through its history, but it's nice to know that we can find one here, in one of its oldest and most iconic. You can follow me on Twitter, at RJ Bailey, visit my website, www.rjbailey.com, and head to my Facebook page, RJ Bailey Voice Artist, where you can get a free copy of my vampire audiobook. If you like what we do and want to support indie horror, click subscribe or visit popcornhorror.com.